not being able to go zero waste well incorporating this habits into your life will make you a zero waste champ in no time let's divide these habits into categories making it easier for us to remember so let's start with wardrobe or clothing first habit you need is to stop impulse buy so how often do you browse online and come across a product that you tell yourself you really need purchase it and then never wear it ever it happens to so many of us we think it's necessary but sometimes the necessity never comes so how can you control that urge start shopping smarter before you buy anything ask yourself do you need it will i wear it or use it at least 30 times will the material last have a yes to all these questions before you purchase any single product this helps you reduce unnecessary items from entering your home start thrift shopping the surge in fast fashion clothing has led to unnecessary clothing waste all around the world because of our wasteful habits we have seen cloth fill landfills in countries like chile So it's high time we change our shopping habits. Choose thrift clothing instead. Second hand shopping might seem like a huge thing in the start, but trust me, you'll be able to find some amazing gems of stuff for your wardrobe. I've already gotten a video on how I do thrift shopping through Instagram, so do watch it as I think it'll be super helpful to you and the video also gives you a lot of Insta stores to shop from too. Now let's get to the second category which is the kitchen. Do bulk shopping as much as possible especially for grocery items that are frequently used at your home like rice, wheat, pulses etc. Also try and get it in your own containers from stores like Adrish Zero Waste or even from bulk sections of say Dmart, uh, Reliance Fresh etc. Unlike common belief, you can take your bag to pack these items for sure. This will save you from a lot of disposable packaging and also save you from frequent trips to the store. Purchase the ugly. Many vegetables and fruits are thrown out of stores if they don't look pretty. Yes, pretty. Because customers don't buy the ones which may have small deformities in them. and these are also as good to eat in spite of these forms and it's ideal for you to purchase them to make sure that it doesn't end up at a landfill also most times these deformed ones are also available at a lower cost as well so meaning you save the product and also save yourself some money as well eat seasonal and sustainable food each season gives you a handful of different options to eat So eat your fruits and vegetables according to the season. Don't buy like a watermelon in winter as those are usually hoarded from the summer time and put with a lot of pesticides in it. Similarly, eat more sustainable food products meaning try and reduce your meat consumption or dairy consumption per week or even opt for a few days of plant-based diet each week. They are quite much easier on the planet. Also eat the grains or flours that are more locally made so that they don't have to be transported a long way to reach your kitchen. Eat the uneaten. Over 60% of waste from any home comes from food waste. So let's change that and learn to finish our leftovers. There are a ton of leftover recipes you find on the internet. So use those and finish your leftovers so that your food waste goes down insanely turn grease into green we all have leftover oil in our kitchen that may not be usable for further cooking you can either use it for your cleaning purposes or oiling your furniture or if nothing can send it for recycling to be made into biofuel and for that you can enquire with local restaurants if they participate in any such recycling programs so that you can hand over your oil to them as recycling companies require larger quantities of oil to use so the next category is personal living taking us to habit number 8 which is keep yourself healthy 
that could be through walking yoga swimming working out or anything else but make sure that you keep yourself healthy because that helps you walk longer distances carry heavier items climb stairs and even avoid hospital visits and all this leads to a zero waste life as you use say vehicles lesser use the lifts lesser so keeping yourself healthy is super duper important sustainable menstruation women use up over 10000 disposable menstrual products in their entire lifetime and spend thousands of rupees for the same so if they choose any menstrual product that's reusable it reduces their monthly expense and also make sure that they don't send unnecessary sanitary waste to the landfill too So if you're a man try and talk to the important women in your life and encourage them to make the switch and if you are a woman make sure that you make that switch as soon as possible reading made right i know how reading is so important and i definitely want to support the written arts too but instead of encouraging the demolition of more trees choose say a library and e reader or even audio books You can even subscribe to PDF versions of any major newspaper. If having a physical book in your hand is just something you love, choose second-hand books and then just donate them back to keep it circular. Let's now focus on going zero waste at your workplace, and that brings us to habit number eleven: stop the disposable. Most of our offices still provide paper cups or paper napkins etc for use with our tea, coffee, water, toilet etc. You as an employee can decide to ditch that and use your own reusables instead. Also make sure to always carry your water bottle too. If you want to go that extra mile you can even request your organization to switch to reusable themselves so that even further impact can be made. Tell them that it may even look good in front of the employees and clients too. Choose a green commute. Choosing public transportation or car pooling over a cab or riding alone can reduce your greenhouse emissions by half. Even if not every day, practice this at least once or twice in a week and that leads to a lesser carbon footprint and lesser congestion on the roads too. it can also save you a lot of money over time so the final habit which is habit number 13 is go digital you may need to take daily printouts or copies but just imagine the number of papers you'll be using every single day so try and reuse the other side of the paper for necessary printouts and also use emails and presentations to send important information to your clients or colleagues instead of sheets Also using recycled paper is another option if printing is a completely necessary activity in your office. Hopefully these tips will give you a great start to your zero waste journey and will help you reduce your carbon footprint too. So I will see you in the next video so until then bye bye.